Hello, my name is Joe Baker. I am reading from the book Lessons in Morals and Virtues Stories, Heroes, and Guidance for Children and Young Adults A Christian Perspective. This book is available from Amazon.com. Chapter 13 Develop and Use Your Gifts from God to Serve God and One Another. We learned in the last chapter that God has a plan and a purpose for each of us. We are each the workmanship of God, our Creator. Paul writes in the book of Romans that we do not each have the same function and that we each have unique talents and gifts differing according to the grace that was given to us. We are instructed to use our God-given gifts in service to God and to our brethren. The Apostle Paul writes, As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. In the book of Matthew, Jesus instructed, Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Jesus also told his followers the parable of the talents, which follows. The Parable of the Talents For it is like a man going into another country who called his own servants and entrusted his goods to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two talents, to another one talent. So he gave to each servant according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. Immediately he who received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. In the same way, he also who got the two gained another two. But he who received the one talent went away and dug in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Now after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and reconciled accounts with them. He who received the five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Behold, I have gained another five talents in addition to them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord." He also, who got the two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Behold, I have gained another two talents in addition to them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who received the one talent, came and said, Lord, I knew that you are a hard man, reaping where you didn't sow and gathering where you didn't scatter. I was afraid and went away and hid your talent in the earth. Behold, you have what is yours. But his Lord answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I didn't sow and gather where I didn't scatter. You ought therefore to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming I should have received back my own with interest. Take away, therefore, the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who doesn't have, even that which he has will be taken away. What does the parable of the talents mean? What it means is that we should use our God-given gifts in service to God and one another and work hard for the sake of the kingdom of God. We should not bury or fail to capitalize on what God has provided to us. Paul says in his letter to Peter, As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Questions to think about. What are some God-given gifts or talents that you have seen? What God-given gifts or talents do you think you have? Name some ways that some people fail in sharing their gifts. Name some ways that some people are very successful in sharing their gifts. 
Name some ways that your life has been helped by the gifts that others have been given. A suggested prayer. Almighty God, you have given us gifts to use in service to you and our neighbors. Please keep us from wasting our gifts. Please keep us from using our gifts selfishly. Help us discover, understand, and develop our gifts so that our gifts can be used to glorify you. Help us to share our gifts freely to serve you and to help others. Amen.